August 24th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 104 and 105 from the Old Testament. Praise the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnificent. You are robed in splendor and majesty. He covers himself with lights as if it were a garment. He stretches out the skies like a tent curtain and lays the beams of the upper rooms of his palace on the rain clouds. He makes the clouds his chariot and travels along on the wings of the wind. He makes the winds his messengers and the flaming fire his attendant. He established the earth on its foundations. It will never be upended. The watery deep covered it like a garment. The waters reached above the mountains. Your shout made the waters retreat. At the sound of your thunderous voice, they hurried off. As the mountains rose up and the valleys went down to the place you appointed for them. You set up a boundary for them that they could not cross, so that they would not cover the earth again. He turned springs into streams. They flow between the mountains. They provide water for all the animals in the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the sky live beside them. They chirp among the bushes. He waters the mountains from the upper rooms of his palace. The earth is full of the fruit you caused to grow. He provides grass for the cattle and crops for people to cultivate so they can produce food from the ground, as well as wine that makes people feel so good, and so they can have oil to make their faces shine, as well as food that sustains people's lives. The trees of the Lord receive all the rain they need, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, where the birds make nests near the evergreens in which the herons live. The wild goats live in the high mountains. The rock badgers find safety in the cliffs. He made the moon to mark the months, and the sun sets according to a regular schedule. You make it dark, and night comes, during which all the beasts of the forest prowl around. The lions roar for prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and sleep in their dens. Men then go out to do their work and labor away until evening. How many living things you have made, O Lord! You have exhibited great skill in making all of them. The earth is full of the living things you have made. Over here is the deep, wide sea which teems with innumerable swimming creatures, living things both small and large. The ships travel there, and over here swims the whale you made to play in it. All of your creatures wait for you to provide them with food on a regular basis. You give food to them and they receive it. You open your hand and they are filled with food. When you ignore them, they panic. When you take away their life's breath, they die and return to dust. When you send your life-giving breath, they are created and you replenish the surface of the ground. May the splendor of the Lord endure. May the Lord find pleasure in the living things he has made. He looks down on the earth and it shakes. He touches the mountains and they start to smolder. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God as long as I exist. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I will rejoice in the Lord. May sinners disappear from the earth and the wicked vanish. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his accomplishments among the nations. Sing to him. Make music to him. Tell about all his miraculous deeds. Boast about his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord in the strength he gives. Seek his presence continually. Recall the miraculous deeds he performed, his mighty acts and the judgments he decreed. O children of Abraham, God's servants, you descendants of Jacob, God's chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. He carries out judgment throughout the earth. He always remembers his covenantal decree, the promise he made to a thousand generations. The promise he made to Abraham, the promise he made by oath to Isaac. He gave it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as a lasting promise, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as the portion of your inheritance. When they were few in number, just a very few, and resident aliens within it, they wandered from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another. He let no one oppress them. He disciplined kings for their sake, saying, Don't touch my chosen ones. Don't harm my prophets. 
He called down a famine upon the earth. He cut off all the food supply. He sent a man ahead of them. Joseph was sold as a servant. The shackles hurt his feet. His neck was placed in an iron collar until the time when his prediction came true. The Lord's word proved him right. The king authorized his release. The ruler of nations set him free. He put him in charge of his palace and made him manager of all his property, giving him authority to imprison his officials and to teach his advisors. Israel moved to Egypt. Jacob lived for a time in the land of Ham. The Lord made his people very fruitful and made them more numerous than their enemies. He caused them to hate his people and to mistreat his servants. He sent his servant Moses and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They executed his miraculous signs among them and his amazing deeds in the land of Ham. He made it dark. They did not disobey his orders. He turned their water into blood and killed their fish. Their land was overrun by frogs, which even got into the rooms of their kings. He ordered flies to come. Gnats invaded their whole territory. He sent hail along with the rain. There was lightning in their land. He destroyed their vines and fig trees and broke the trees throughout their territory. He ordered locusts to come, innumerable grasshoppers. They ate all the vegetation in their land and devoured the crops of their fields. He struck down all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of their reproductive power. He brought his people out enriched with silver and gold. None of his tribes stumbled. Egypt was happy when they left, for they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a cover and provided a fire to light up the night. They asked for food, and he sent quails. He satisfied them with food from the sky. He opened up a rock and water flowed out. A river ran through dry regions. Yet he remembered the sacred promise he made to Abraham, his servant. When he led his people out, they rejoiced. His chosen ones shouted with joy. He handed the territory of nations over to them, and they took possession of what other people had produced, so that they might keep his commands and obey his laws. Praise the Lord. God, thank you for such beautiful reminders of how my relationship should be healthy with you. Um, these Psalms uh, not only talk about the beginning of the world and all of the amazing things that you've created for us to live here within and amongst in this world, but then Psalm 105 goes on to talk about your protection, your love, your consistency of that. You know, I've been struggling, especially this past week, with, I don't know, you know, with, with frustration and agitation and trying not to be angry over a situation that's flared back up again in my life, something that I had no power over, but now I have to deal with. And <sighs> remembering my place in this world, that it's not one of the world, but it's one of you. It's your child, God, and remembering that all of these other labels and situations that people have chosen to put me in, those aren't the truth. The truth is that you created a world for us to live among because you loved and cared about us so much that you created all of this amazingness in this world. And so first and foremost, a great reminder to keep my mind and my heart on the positive things of this world. There is so much to be thankful over so much to be thankful of that I only have to look out my front window and see how beautiful and incredible everything is in my life. Help me focus on the positive first and foremost God. Second the fact that that you not only are willing but definitely take care of me that you have my best interest at heart. It was so amazing that this was the reading for today because just this morning on Facebook I posted a quote from uh, Charles Spurgeon preacher Charles Spurgeon that says remember this had any other condition been better for you than the one in which you are divine love would have put you there so God today I thank you instead of being belligerent about it I thank you for the situation I'm in I'm in it for some reason and it's for some reason that is known only to you and that has to be okay. I just need to do what I'm supposed to in this situation. 
First and foremost, praise you and thank you for all that you've given me. Second, realize that whatever the situation is, I'm only supposed to do the things that you show me to do in those. I'm only supposed to be obedient. And even though situations like this bring on pain and hurt and tears and frustration and anger and all sorts of emotions that definitely aren't fruits of the spirit, <laughs> that we have to remember through all of that pain, through all of that hurt, that you have commanded us to rejoice. Rejoice that you are in control, that your divine love is taking care of us, that your divine love knows we are in that situation, that your divine love would take us out of that situation if you didn't want us to be in that, that there is some point to that situation. And that point may have nothing to do with us because we can't see the big picture of everything going on. Only you can. But if we're truly called to be your children, and to love others is better than ourselves and to take care of others is better than ourselves then this is even more true that we need to trust and have faith in your power your plan the steps that we have coming up because you have divinely put us there you're fully aware of what i'm going through right now and i can see as soon as i get out of my moping <laughs> arena. I can see your fingerprints all over the situation already, making things easier, uh, healing things, uh, providing me opportunities to fix things. It, it's just amazing. Once I get out of my wallowing uh, and, I, and I open up and I thank you for what you have given me and all that is around me. And I remember that no matter what situation I'm in, that you are aware of that situation and you always want what is best for me. And you will help me either get through that situation because it's best for me. You will keep me in that situation because it's best for me. Or I will finally get to go home with you. And if that's the best situation, I will gladly take that as well. God, towards the end of this psalm, it says, um, When he led his people out, they rejoiced. His chosen ones shouted with joy. And God, help me to make today joy-filled that I should be so incredibly thankful for all that you've given me, not focusing on this bad situation that somebody else has caused, but focusing on all of the incredible things in my life. You know, I always fuss at other people and say, whatever you give power to will be. If you give power to the bad things, that's what will be. If you give power to the good things, that's what will be. Uh, and it's very true because if we concentrate on the negative, we get caught up in the worldly things. Then everything seems overwhelming and consuming. But I know if, if I intentionally create joy and focus on a joy-filled path today, that my eyes will, will lift above this drama situation and I will get to see eternally what your plans are for me. And all I have to do is take those next steps and then those next steps and you will guide those steps and I will be in your will doing what you need me to do. And I may at that moment not think that it's wonderful to be where I'm at, but I do know and have faith that it's not only what is best for me, but more importantly, that it's your will for what is best for the whole world. God, I thank you for your protection. And today I definitely thank you so much for your divine love of having me in this situation and caring for me with kindness and compassion and grace as I with your strength, God, and keeping in mind my heart that should think of others before me as I use your strength to deal with this situation. In your son's name I pray. Amen.